Hey guys, um, so someone asked me to show using a beach ball for pool exercise, so that is what I'm doing today. Sorry my videos have been so scattered. Um, things have been crazy at my place with work and just everything. But anyway, so today this video is going to be all about using a beach ball in the pool to exercise. So... Um, for this first one, I wasn't really sure exactly what I was doing. I was kind of making things up as I went. Um, but the first one is an arm exercise. You work your triceps. You can see you just have the ball in front. And then you bring it back as far over your head as you can go. It, it's a nice stretch, too. And um, I was doing it ten times. And then... If you want, bring your legs up while you're doing it. Get your abs working out a little bit, too. Um, the next one I was trying to do was I was trying to put the ball under the water, but it would not go. So then what I did, I was like, okay, well, that's fine. I'll just lean back with the, um, with the beach ball. And I started doing a bicycle exercise where you uh, you can see you're lying on your back kind of and then you like pedal your legs like you're pedaling a bicycle if you can do it more controlled than I can you're probably gonna get a much better workout in um, but even not being able to do control I still felt it a lot in my abs um, and then you kind of just you wrap the ball around like you're giving the ball a big hug and then after that just your legs in and out it kind of works the um like the outer and the inner thighs a little bit and for me it's more relaxing but like even that i cannot do that out of the water i need the water for support with that one here you can see me again just trying to get the ball to go under the water that is an arm workout in itself so i ended up just laying on the ball and trying to go in and um with that one you can see that's a bit of a workout too once you can get it under you just trying to get it um so like you'll see in a minute but so you're getting a workout just trying to keep it under the water with you on top of it it's kind of like um like in the push-up position that's a little bit of a workout too working your abs <laughs> anyway those are really all the ones that I could think of um for the most part the last one you'll see in a minute um there you go see finally I got it where I had it under I'm just trying to keep it and then if you want to just keep rolling over with it that would be a workout too um and then I think this one, what I was trying to do, um, if you can pick the ball up with your legs, I use a noodle so my head doesn't go under the water. I mean, as long as you can swim and breathe, it's fine if your head goes underwater, but I prefer not going under the water in that small pool. But just kicking the beach ball up kind of with your legs, that's, that works out a little bit of your legs and your abs. And then, as you can see, the ball likes to get away from you. So, and this isn't my favorite workout. It's kind of a pain, <laughs> to be honest. I didn't really like it that much, but it was fun to try it. And I don't know if my neighbors were throwing a party or what. Okay, and then... So, this next exercise, again, on the sides, just trying to squeeze the ball under, it works like your, um, your obliques. And then, um, what you do, move the ball to the side, just push it down like you're trying to go under, and keep your stomach, like your core, where it's at. And then finally, the wrap arounds with the um like with the ball you wrap it behind you like like what i'm doing you can see that and then once i was doing 10 and then once i finished 10 on this side i switched around 
to the other side, as you can see. Then I was hoping with this video I could show you um, how I get out of the pool, but unfortunately my phone did not record that part, so hopefully I'll be able to record that soon. And then you can see it compared to when I first got this pool compared to now. And that's after, I want to say like 13 or 14 doses of Spinraza. I lost count somewhere along the way. But this little pool's a good thing to, um, to cool off with. Right, and then what I was finally, what I, um, well, if you have a partner, this would be a good one sitting in there with you to pot, pass the ball back and forth. But if not, then you might as well have some fun, um, by yourself just tossing it up back and forth like you're gonna do a volleyball. And then, and then finally, this one, I, what I was trying to do, I was trying to get my leg on the ball to push the ball under. But I could, as you'll see, I just, I could not do it. Um, for starters, the ball just wants to float. So getting it under is not good. And then my legs, like, I don't have the control over my legs. Um, so I was trying to go in the water, slip in the water, and see if um, I could do it that way. And I was trying to use my noodle to, like, help a little bit. But eventually, I ended up, um, like, I kept trying for a little bit, but I did eventually give up and just start kind of playing soccer with the ball. So that would be another great, if you have a partner, um, and maybe a little bit bigger of a pool. Like, if you have one of those, um, small rectangular ones instead of a round one like I have, soccer with the beach ball would be a great one. You could do, like, a crab walk and then soccer, um... It, I didn't try it on this video, but if you get in, like, where you're gonna towel walk and then just try to kick the, um, the ball out, that might be a good one, too. I was just, I was having a hard time with this, so at the end, I was kind of just done, and I went back to my, um, like, my other exercises in, I believe it was the video before.